How you feel about One Punch Man? Mid. It mid, kind of. I'm mid, not gonna mid. lie. After Boros, it does kind of become a little mid. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know why. Like it, so after Boros, it then goes into the Monster Association or whatever, and that was okay. Like the the Garo fight and stuff was all right. I mean, in the web comic, the the Garo fight is literally off screen when he goes into his strongest form. It's like a Titanic L. Um, but maybe the manga will do it better. But then, like after the Garo arc or whatever, it just becomes absurdly like boring. <laughs> like they try to introduce these new heroes associations and shit, and like new heroes, and it's like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like it's it's so boring. Like it's really boring. They they're not going anywhere with it. Yeah, I dropped that bullshit. It's not fun to read. It's not cool. He loses to Goku as well. Yeah. He's just so, like a, a weak, like Saiyan Saga character is bald. Saiyan Saga. <laughs> it's like fucking Saiyan Art Krillin, bro. Like, if he had like a, his own story. Did you unlist your Krillin vs. Saitama video? I unlisted a lot of oh videos. My God. Mm. I I unlisted like all of those videos that could like potentially start drama. I think. Wow. Let me see. Did I? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I like removed like everything that was like weird. How long are you expecting your like uh, Naruto version of the Goku video to be? I want it to be eight hours or less, but it depends. Cause like in Naruto, bro, like you gotta. <sighs> Even when you're just scaling Naruto, like, you have to talk about almost every character. You know what I mean? It's like, because yeah. you're going to be making a video on, like, how strong Naruto is, right? So you got to talk about, all right, does he have a resistance to particle style? How would he handle the Raikage? Could he handle this Genjutsu? How does this Genjutsu work? Does, is he stronger than the Sukuyomi? What can the Sukuyomi do? What can Itachi do that Naruto's better than? Um, you know, what hacks and techniques can he actually overpower and, like, defeat? Like, what is, like, his strategic limits and, um, a lot of that stuff. It, it's kind of, like, there's, like, more things to talk about, I think. But, uh... Oh, my God! But, you know, yeah. It definitely is. But, yeah. Uh, so, hopefully it's less than eight hours. Uh, right now we have the filler. We're making notes on the filler. And then we'll see. I think the video will be pretty useful because I feel like a lot of people don't watch the Naruto filler. They just kind of read the manga. So talking about the things that are only in the anime will be really useful for some people because the anime is kind of like... It's low-key like never like dismissed as canon or not. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's even like... I think some things in the anime are actually then made canon into the manga after they happen. It's weird. Uh, like I don't know about that. I've never seen there's, that. There's a there's a swordsman that turns canon from the the anime first. Um, there's a few things. Yeah, like Gregory in Dragon Ball Z. That's a good example. Like Gregory just became canon in Super. What? Yeah. And Gregory wasn't in the manga. No. Nope, that's the anime. bug? He's not in nope. the manga? Nope, it was just the monkey. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude, the anime made him canon, I'm telling you. <laughs> There's certain things like that with Naruto as well. Dude, that's some trippy shit. I reread Dragon Ball Z like a year ago. Yeah, and then there's um, there's certain things with the uh, the manga as well where Kishimoto um, specifically wrote certain scenes in the manga that had zero value for the manga whatsoever, but they would help the anime staff create an anime arc yeah, off like of the that. the Sakura love letter. Like the love letter, yeah. He made the Sakura love letter scene, which didn't make any sense in the manga, but the point of it was to make anime filler. So certain things like that kind of like add to the anime's validity a little bit. So it'll, it'll, I think it'll be interesting because a lot of people just don't want to watch the anime. So I, I'll, it'll be cool for me to like sum up all the interesting stuff as well. Yeah. There's also a lot of like 
There's some interesting things like there's this thing called the Star Kage, which the Star Kage. There's a thing called the Star Kage, which is like this like low hidden village, um, and there's this Kage or this Kage, quote unquote, that's gonna get their st their power from a falling star from outer space or like a falling meteor, and they think that with the power of the falling star, they can like rival the five villages and shit, stuff like that. It's interesting. Mm, no, I've heard of I heard of that. There's a lot of there's the a lot village, of cool is it stuff the with the village like, hidden in the stars. There's like a lot of cool stuff with like the um with like outer space in Naruto as well that I'd like to talk about. Cuz like you know, you have the Star Kage, but you also have that novel with like Hagoromo and Naruto curing their sickness with something they found from the stars as well, like the meteor. Just random mm -hmm. shit like that from space. Uh, that'll also be interesting to talk about. There's a lot of cool stuff to go over, and like yeah, the <laughs> village hidden in the stars in the land of like bears. <laughs> like, and I have I have some fun facts I can drop in the video too. Like I was thinking about fun facts, right? Because people like the fun facts in the Dragon Ball video, uh, and I was thinking like right off the bat, one fun fact for Naruto is like, did you know like to learn the Rasengan, you have to spin it a certain way. And the way you spin your Rasengan has to be the same way that your hair spins yeah. on your head. Yeah. Which is never yeah, brought yeah. up again. It's not It's not even brought up in Boruto when Boruto is learning it. <laughs> like, it's just, like, brought one time. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's some crazy shit. There's yeah. a bunch of cool shit about Chakra in that arc. Yeah. Like, so, Jiraiya's like, if you expend too oh much God. chakra, you can, like, damage your chakra system, and it hurts you. Yeah. That's brung up again, though. That's brung up when fucking Neji fights Kitomaru. But, yeah. There's a bunch of, like, cool random shit in part when Naruto about chakra. I'll be right back, by the way. One sec. But... Alright, now that that nigga's gone, you know what time it is, bro. Seth is a loser time. Um, so we're about to do the stream, right? Seth's like, send me a picture of your avatar for the video. Or for the stream. I'm like, okay, cool. Send him a picture, he's like, uh, I need one to match this. So I send him another picture, and he's like, uh, I need one with a background. And at, at this point, I'm like, bro, I don't even really want to stream with you. Like, I'm helping you out. So, you know, do me the favor of being easy on me. So, so while, while he's, while he's, you know, bitching about the picture, I'm thinking about just blocking him on Discord, but it's cool. It's cool. I'll just move on. Uh, you know, and here we are. Are you a government spy? I don't know the government. What's my Discord? Hey, buddy, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saved you a spot. Thanks, man. Comfy here. <laughs>